final um, event in this inaugural program um, that we've been doing with Lawyers' Rights Watch Canada, the Hulkamin Treaty Group, and Amnesty International. And it's been a, a huge success, and uh, we've had lots of uh, great feedback. So we thank all the organizers and everyone who's come um, since January. Um, so the program is the First Nations Rights and Law, the Gap Between Law and Practice. And the library is committed to presenting and engaging in civic dialogues and topics of interest to Vancouver residents like this one and organizations like our co-sponsors. And we're very pleased that uh, we can present a program like this. And I'd like to acknowledge that we are on uh, Coast Salish territories. So before I introduce uh, Leah George Wilson um, of the Tsleil-Waututh Nation, I'd like to remind you to turn off your cell phones and anything that beeps um, so as not to uh, annoy other people. And I'd like to highlight a few um, upcoming programs here at the Central Library that might interest you. Um, on May the 29th, um, please join us for Building the Eighth Fire. Whether or not you watch the CBC television series, Eighth Fire, we welcome you to come and reflect upon relations between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in Canada today, and hear from diverse First Nations voices about their perspectives on this program. And moving into June, on the uh, 27th, is Canada's official Multiculturalism Day. And upstairs in the promenade from noon until 4 p.m., uh, there's going to be a whole whack of um, activities. There'll be um, all kinds of cultural presentations and uh, music. And, uh, it was a lot of fun last year, and I think the mayor is coming. And on June the 28th, um, here in the Alice Mackay Room, uh, one of our um, fondest programs uh, of, of the year was the presentation of the annual George Woodcock Lifetime Achievement Award for a Literary Career at British Columbia. And the 19th recipient this year is Daphne Marlott, so that should be, uh, so please welcome uh, Leah George Wilson, um, who's going to open up for us tonight. Good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes. ACM ACIA, I, Tanishkwalo, and E, Quit Quits Nonnets, and the city of Anna, the Manoa, but the Sintalaya ACIA, the Ema, the Sansakalo, Isla Hotsia. Meets up. Meets up, quit to the Tamok, to the Huanelmok. Greetings, honored guests, my dear ones. I have good feelings in my heart to see you today. In our Kusalish indigenous way, I told you my ancestral name, Sitsia, I told you Leah George Wilson, I told you who my parents are. Deanna and Hereditary Chief Iggy George. I told you who my grandparents are, late Lillian and late Hereditary Chief John L. George, because in our way, that's what we do when we want people to know exactly who we are and what place us in there in the family trees we all carry around in our minds. Welcoming you to Coast Salish Traditional Territory, home of the Slywitut, the Skohomishul, and the uh, Homath I'd like to acknowledge my relatives that we have in the audience this evening. Um, Chief Bill Williams, Talos McKean, Siam from Squamish Nation. As well, we have um, Fran Guerin and Victor Guerin. I, I know you have a name, Victor. I'm sorry, I can't remember it. And um, Corrine and Lawrence Paul in the, in the audience. Welcoming you to Coast Salish Traditional Territory, thanking all of you for um, joining us this evening. And we'd like to also offer a quick prayer, but please don't stand. Creator, Great Spirit, Grandmothers, Grandfathers, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us all safely to the circle. Today, Creator, we're asking you for open hearts and minds in our, in our discussions and our listening today. Asking you for Blessings upon all the communities represented in this circle this evening. Also asking for blessings upon the young woman about to give us the talk. For these and other intentions we have in our hearts and minds, we leave with you. We'll see you. Thank you, Leah. That was beautiful. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming all of us. And also thank you, Jean, for opening and getting everything going and the rest of everyone for attending and being here tonight to welcome. Ms. Sarah Morales. It is an honor to share and welcome Sarah Morales. She is a Coast Salish member of Cowichan Tribes, 
from the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island. She is currently assistant professor at the University of Ottawa. She is a candidate for her PhD through the University of Victoria. She has studied extensively in the areas of traditional indigenous law and international human rights law. And she is very well respected within her field at such a, a young age. So welcome, Sarah. <laughs> 